cross and Andy McLeod's header not far away. But just five minutes from the interval, Orpah's pressure eventually paid off. A free kick from 30 yards and Bobby Mann with this magnificent strike. Orpah deservedly run ahead and well worth seeing that again. Power and swerve in Mann's shot, leaving keeper Hutchison stranded. The county keeper was kept busy right up to the interval, and he was well placed to cover this effort from Sandy Ross. Half time, Ross County nil, and four for one. The visitors started the second half looking as though they wanted to kill the game. Ian McPhee's cross and Ross's header cleared off the line. County were living dangerously, and then they won the next best thing to a penalty an indirect free kick inside the box for obstruction. The whole four for team packed across the goal mouth. Ryan Grant's effort disappointed the home support. In the later stages of the game, County had the best move of the match. A penetrating run from Billy Ferries nearly led to an equaliser from Andy McLeod. It was County's best chance of salvaging something from a day that was to belong to Crawford. David Bingham squandered this chance to make it two, but at the final whistle it was four for a worthy winners, one nil. The slenderest of margins, but enough to clinch promotion. A small band of followers jubilant, and when the news came through that East Sterling had lost, Orphan knew that the champions, and the celebrations began. What's been the secret of 